I grew up in the church from a baby, was christened, and went to church every Sunday, and I think by the time I was about 12, I was listening to a sermon, and they asked, does anybody want to get saved and know the Lord? And for some reason, this particular Sunday, I said yes. I walked to the front, said I wanted to be saved. Later on, the pastor spoke to my parents, and I got baptized, and I'm someone who believes once saved, always saved, so I've been saved ever since. It's a walk, so sometimes you're at different speeds, sometimes you're doing a power walk, other times you're slow just watching the journey, sometimes you're just stopped along the path, and I think that relates to my relationship with God. Growing up, um, I didn't know much, didn't have much of a relationship after I got saved. I pretty much just knew what they told you in church, followed the motions. You're supposed to go to church on Sundays, youth group on Fridays. So I did that, but did I know God? Um, I don't think I did. Um, one thing that I advocate for a lot is camp because I think going to camp has changed me. I was around people my age who were just actually just reaching out in our own way, talking to the Lord, being prayer warriors, which I have never seen in my life before then. And I think that really changed me. It gave me like a burning desire in my heart to really want to seek the Lord for myself. It just seemed real to me. And of course, I still believe that Jesus is real. Um, along the path, of course, in life, we go through hard times. And I'm a person who suffers from depression. I've been depressed a lot, but I can always say no matter the struggle, whatever it is, even when I'm writing in my journal and I'm writing negativity, I always end it with something like, but you know, God is good. Like, God has always been there no matter what I go through in my life. I know that God is real and he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we could ever ask or think.